What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure reveals for us, some new updated photo lineups. If you guys missed out on WWE.com yesterday, we did have some new figures leaked out and revealed to us. Pretty interesting stuff going on. We are going to take a look at all of these photos. Of course, yesterday was all about AEW and Jazz Wares, Fan Fest over at Double or Nothing, but today, it's all about WWE and Elites and Ultimates and stuff like that. So, we're going to get into it, break all the stuff down, let you guys know about it. And if you guys missed our AEW, EW Fan Fest Double or Nothing coverage from yesterday. Definitely go check it out. The video took all day to make with all the different releases, the video, the rendering, the uploading. It did not get uploaded until literally like 12 hours ago. It's like 8 p.m. or something like that. So definitely go check that out. I'd really appreciate it. But let's dive into the WWE action figure reveals to us and get everything started. Let's start things off first with the new Target exclusive Legends Macho Man Ultimate Edition here. Very interesting stuff going on. You guys will see here. You know, we are getting two Ultimate Ultimate Edition Machos back to back really quickly, which we'll get into in just a moment. But this figure is looking pretty good. You know, a lot of people questioning the shirts. They're questioning the head sculpts. You know, they're they're a bit on the fence there. We do have the new tongue out head sculpt, which isn't bad. You know, it gives us a little bit of character. It gives us a little bit of options there with that figure, maybe. But I, I'm liking what I'm seeing. You know, I like the black tights. I like the white coming off. It's a pretty cool figure. You guys remember way back when the first Ultimate Edition Macho Man released, I was very on the fence about it. I wasn't really feeling the gear. I really wasn't feeling it. And then it ended up being one of the figures that shocked me the most all of last year, so I think that I have way different expectations for this Macho Man coming in. I think I'm all aboard the Macho Man Ultimate train when it comes to how great these figures look and feel in hand, so I'm excited for this one. I think it's going to be a great one. Outside of that Ultimate Edition Macho Man, we also got to look at the new Crowdfunder Macho Man that is coming soon. Very similar to the one we just took a look at with the Target exclusive, but it is a tad different. It's got a little bit of a different S going on. Maybe you could mix the two together if you had multiple copies, but this one right here is going to be pretty rare I believe because this is the crowdfunder I think it's going to be what 8,000 of these are going to be made I think if you pre-ordered it before the window closed or whatever the case was if you pre-ordered it before that certain date that they had set on the Mattel Creations website you could lock in this macho man which is going to come with the diesel the doink and the entire crowdfunding you know new generation arena that we're waiting on but we have updated images you guys can see all the bells and whistles you get you get a sick ass checkerboard jacket you get the sick shirt that goes with it you get your great black and white pants you do get your two different head sculpts you don't get the tongue out head sculpt with this one but you could easily pop that tongue out head sculpt on here if you wanted to but it's your commentary macho you got your blue table there blue chairs blue table cover with your microphone your headset your hat with headset interchangeable hands monitors really awesome stuff right here i like this figure a lot and them adding this ultimate edition macho in with the crowdfunder i think really is what set it off i felt like people probably were thinking something was missing from the set they threw this guy in and it really put it over the top so you get three ultimate editions the whole arena the entrance stage really great little crowdfunder right there that kind of came together there at the end and i'm excited for this summer because we're going to find out what our next crowdfunder is and i just cannot wait to cover it here for you guys sdcc season is right among us and it's going to be amazing but that is our two ultimate editions that they showed off to us now we do have some more stuff going on which is going to include this wreck and slam truck with wrecking ball set you guys remember this from wrestlemania axis great little diesel truck i already know that I don't know if it'll be Roman Reigns or if it'll be John Cena and Edge or it's something. They're gonna they're gonna definitely get this worked into a Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown sort of segment. It comes with a ladder, WWE Championship. You guys can see the Wrecking Ball. I think this is a fantastic little play set. You know, I'm all aboard the Wrecking stuff. We had the Slambulance, we had the cars with the Rock and the you know and the the other version with Braun Strowman. We did have the motorcycles with Undertaker and Drew McIntyre. Now we are getting and we even had the four wheeler right with Big E. So another vehicle all aboard that train man it looks great another big you know diesel truck it looks to be very good size too if you guys look at the figures on there comes apart of course you got the wrecking ball really fun stuff I, i'm all aboard this train i hope it gets plenty of playability we'll review it here on the channel and it should probably be coming very soon i'd imagine so that will be fun but i do like the way the diesel truck looks i think it's a fantastic piece there but outside of that, we do have a look at the new upcoming WWE Superstars line. Now, we have more images of Series 2 Ultimate Warrior, but he's looped in here with the rest of Series number 3. Now, Series 3 is a pretty outstanding set. We're going to break down everything here, but you guys will see that Ultimate Warrior is looped in with The Undertaker, the Ted DiBiase, the Papa Shango, and the Mankind. Now, 
Undertaker, Ted DiBiase, Papa Shango, and Mankind are all a part of Series 3, but Ultimate Warrior is actually a part of Series 2, which features Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Shawn Michaels. So, you guys know that with Series 1, we had Honky Tonk Man, Ric Flair, Bray Wyatt, and we did have the NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was the one that ended up shipping later than the rest of the wave. And then in Series 2, that is what Ultimate Warrior is. So I'm imagining we'll probably you'll probably be able to find your Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall very soon at your Walmart. And then Ultimate Warrior is going to be that one that trickles in last. I still haven't seen any Hulk Hogans. I had to order two of mine. Hopefully that won't be the case for Ultimate Warrior. Maybe he will be out there, but I love this line. I love this line. I love the way they look. I like all the different accessories you're getting. They're putting a lot of effort into this line. I think they look great men on card. I think they look great loose. Great posability on these guys. They look awesome. Some of the head sculpts look a bit off, you know, as the pictures scroll through. You know, I think the Undertaker's face is a bit wide. He has a bit of a weird chin. I think that, you know, the, the rest of the wave, though, looks really good. I think Ultimate Warrior looks a bit weird in the face as well. But the figures just look so... I don't know. They they really come to life, and I think they look awesome. So Mankind's going to be great. He comes with all these cloth accessories. Like, uh, it's just unbelievable. Like, look at the Ted DiBiase with with his jacket and his full get up there with the money accessories. Great little head sculpt on there. Don't know if you're going to want to have one in wrestling gear and one in his full suit there. I don't know if you could put that jacket onto a Mattel Elite or another character that you wanted to. I'm not exactly sure how that'll work. So lots of things going on, but I think they look fantastic. They're putting a lot of effort into this wave, and it's coming It's coming to fruition. Like You could tell how well these figures are made and what they're all putting into it with all their accessories and cloth goods. So I'm excited for Ser Superstar Series 3. I'm going to try to be a completionist of this line. I got on the retro train late, I do believe. Like I wasn't really looking into it. I do have quite a bit of a mock. But I do not have a lot of them. I'm still missing a lot of them. So this is one of those sets. If you can jump in from the ground up, it's really easy to keep up to date. And it's a lot easier to track down the whole series. But I'm loving all these figures. They're really nice, really awesome. And we'll have to see if they continue down the line of the old school wrestlers. Or if they will dive into a more newer set. You know, maybe see a John Cena or, or something like that in the future. I'm not entirely sure. But we also got to see... Uh, some of those build and brawl or what are they called bend and bash figures we got to see Damian Priest and we did see Big E Big E looking a lot like the figure that came with the full wheeler same exact gear and stuff like that these figures aren't terrible I think they look a whole lot better than you'd think like I've seen these on the pegs I think the Roman Reigns look great I actually bought the John Cena myself so I you know I got I had to get in on the John Cena little miscellaneous shelf like all the different John Cena figures little smaller figures trying to you know, just build up a collection of those. But you got Damian Priest, you got Big E. Both of those look good. You know, those are the only two that we got shown off to us. A bit of a weirdy. But the Damian Priest figure's colors looks pretty sweet. Um, not really too into this wave, you know, but at the same time, they're they're okay. You know, nice little miscellaneous figures. And then the last thing that we do have today is going to be updated looks at the full wave of Top Talents and SummerSlam figures. They just showed off the full wave. We already have full reviews of these up on the channel. If you guys missed out on it, definitely go check it out. It's the Top Picks Wave 2023. We have Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, John Cena, and Rey Mysterio. And then we also have a full look at the SummerSlam wave featuring... Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Sensational Sherry, and Shawn Michaels with the Build-A-Figure Dominic figure wave there with the little kid Dominic from 2005. So if you guys missed out on either of those, definitely go check out the full waves of those. We did all of them in one video. It was a nice breakdown review, long review there on the channel where we break down all the figures one by one, little by little. So definitely go get in on that. But before we get out of here, we do have to get into our random shout out so let me get into that really quick and this shout out is going to go to silent freaks productions who says the john moxley has new pants mold in the render image i love his figure so far and i'll collect as many as possible i'm ready to see the hardies i do want a jeff without face paint so he says the john moxley has new pants mold from series 12 of the unrivaled series i'm gonna have to look that up right now because i know what his pants mold looks like i didn't notice a different pant mold i will have to look at it really quickly to uh, address this and it looks to me like it actually is it does look like it's new pants he's got like the pockets lowered he's got like his zippers on the pockets and he doesn't have those little mini pockets under the knees it looks like he has some patches going on so maybe this new John Moxley figure is actually going to be a little bit shorter than the one they've been giving us maybe it's going to be updated and it will be a lot better in height accuracy it comes with that cool shirt this should be a really fun Moxley figure hopefully the head sculpt looks good and everything but that is going to wrap it up huge shout out to you man for the cool comment if you guys want to comment shout out in a future video go to every watch every video leave a comment that has to do with something or a random question or, or something like that and i will potentially get to it in the next video so you got to watch the videos you got to be active you got to like every video comment 
be real active on the channel and you and you could earn yourselves a shout out man but i'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts on all these figure reveals down in the comment section below obviously not as big as the aew fan fest reveals that we had definitely go check out that video as well but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed day and don't cross the line of course with all due respect you cross the line